Moz fans, welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Friday. Today we are talking all about introduction to Python, which is why I have a special co-host here. She is a ball python herself, total expert. Uh, her name is Pumpkin and she's the best. So, what, you know, what is Python? This has been in the industry a lot lately. There's a lot of commotion that you should know how to use it or know how to talk about it. So Python, it's an open source object-oriented programming language that was created in 1991. And some fun facts about Python is it's often compared to R, but it's arguably more simple to use. The syntax just oftentimes feels more simple and common sense like um, when you're new to programming. Uh, and huge companies use it, right? NASA, Google, tons of companies out there use it because it's widely supported, it is open source, uh, so pretty cool. And while we're going through this Whiteboard Friday, I would love it if we would do a little Python programming today. So I'm just gonna ask that you also visit this in another tab, python.org slash downloads. Download the version for your computer and we'll get back to that, okay? Uh, so why should you care, right? Python is incredibly powerful because it helps you automate time-consuming tasks, right? It can do these things at scale so that you can free up your time to work on higher level thinking, to work on more strategy. Uh, it's really, really exciting where these things are going. Some examples of that are things like log file analysis, right? Imagine if you could just set up an automated system with Python to alert you any time one of your primary pages wasn't being crawled as frequently as it typically is, right? You can do all sorts of things, or let's say Google crawls your robots.txt and it throws out a server error, which many of you know causes huge problems. It can alert you, you can set up scripts like that to do really comprehensive tasks. Um, some other examples, internal link analysis, uh, it can do a really great job of that. It can help you discover keyword opportunities by looking at bulk keyword data and identifying some really important indicators. Uh, it's really great for things like image optimization, right? It can auto tag and alt text images. Um, it can do really powerful things there. Uh, it can also scrape the websites that you're working with to do really high volume tasks. Um, it can also pull Google Search Console data, right, and do analysis on those types of things. And I do have a list of all of the individuals within SEO who are currently doing really, really powerful things with Python. And I highly suggest you check out some of Hamlet Batista's recent scripts where he's using Python to do all sorts of really cool SEO tasks. So how do you run Python, what does this even look like, right? So you've hopefully downloaded Python as a programming language on your computer, but now you need to run it somewhere, right? Where, where does that live? Um, so first, you should be setting up a virtual environment, but for the purpose of these examples, I'm just gonna ask that you pull up your terminal application. It looks like this. Uh, you could also be running Python within something like Jupyter Notebooks or Google Colab. Uh, but just pull up your terminal and let's check and make sure that you've downloaded Python properly. So the first thing that you do is you open up the terminal and just type in Python space dash dash version. And you should see a readout of the version that you downloaded for your computer. That's awesome. So now we're just gonna activate Python and do some really basic tasks. So just type in Python and hit enter. And you should hopefully see these three arrow things within your terminal. And from here, you can do something like print hello world. So you enter it exactly like you see it here, hit enter, and it'll say hello world, which is pretty cool. You can also do fun things like just basic math, right? You can add two numbers together using something like this. So these are individual lines, and after you complete the print sum, you'll see the readout of the sum of those two numbers. Uh, you can randomly generate numbers, right? 
And I realize these aren't direct SEO applications, but these are the silly things that give you confidence to run programs like what Hamlet talks about. So I highly suggest you just have fun, create a little random number generator, which is really cool. Um, mine is pulling random numbers from zero to 100. You can do zero to 10 or whatever you'd like. Uh, and a fun fact, after you hit enter and you see that random number, if you want to continue, hit using your up arrow will pull up the last command within your terminal. And it even goes back you know, to these other ones. Um, so that's a really quick way to rerun something like a random number generator, right? You can just crank out a bunch of them if, if you want for some reason. <laughs> uh, and this is where you can start to get into really cool scripts as well for pulling URLs using requests HTML. And then you can pull unique information from web pages, right? You can pull at bulk, you know, tens of thousands of title tags within a URL list. You can pull things like H1s, canonicals, all sorts of things, and this makes it incredibly easy to do it at scale. Uh, and one of my favorite ways to pull things from URLs is using XPath within Python. And this is a lot easier than it looks. So this might be an XPath for some websites, but websites are marked up differently. And so when you're trying to pull something from a particular site, you can right click into Chrome Developer Tools. And within Chrome Developer Tools, you can right click what it is that you're trying to scrape with Python. And you just select Copy XPath, and it will give you the exact XPath for that website, which is kind of a fun trick if you're, if you're getting into some of this stuff. Uh, what are libraries, right? How do we make this stuff more and more powerful? Because Python's really strong on its own, but what makes it even stronger are these libraries or packages which are add-ons that do incredible things, right? Um, this is just a small percentage of libraries that can do things like data collection, cleaning, visualization, processing, deployment. One of my favorite ways to get some of the more popular packages is just to download Anaconda because it comes with all of these commonly used, most popular packages. Um, and so it's kind of a nice way to, to get all of it in one spot, or at least most of them. Uh, so you kind of you know, dipped your toes, you kind of understand what Python is, what people are using it for, where can you learn more? How can you start? Well, Code Academy has a really great Python course, as well as Google, Kaggle, and even the python.org website has some really great resources that you can check out. Um, this is a list of individuals I really admire in the SEO space who are doing incredible work with Python um, and have all inspired me in different ways. So definitely keep an eye on what they're up to. Um, but yeah, Pumpkin and I have really enjoyed this and we hope you did too. So thank you so much for joining us for this special edition of Whiteboard Friday. We will see you soon, right? Bye guys.